Today on Zestology, Prolon the Aftermath. So I did the fasting mimicking diet last week and you got daily updates from me, but how am I feeling a few days on? You will find out next. Also, um, a supplement that genuinely gives me more energy. This podcast is all about energy, so that's good. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm an author, presenter at Sky Sports, and years ago I went to the jungle and got ill. Very (laughs) ill. So this is my podcast adventure to find more energy. It's packed with biohacking, science, health tech, supplements, and some of the most well-known experts on the planet. This is something I spent four months of my life doing with electrodes glued to my head so that you can do a lifetime worth of meditation. Decide what you don't give a fuck about, which is something you don't care about. Some of it gets quite out there. I had some stem cells sent up to my house that I had stored, and then I injected myself with mannitol. And we even hack hangovers. Alcohol is poisonous. So is water and oxygen in the wrong dosage. So that's my podcast, Zestology. Live life with energy, vitality, and motivation. Yeah, welcome back to Zestology. It is the podcast all about energy and I think, you know, I've told you a lot about Prolon already, but I did just briefly want to go over it again. It's a beautiful experience. They make it very easy and they make it very hard to cheat as well. This is the fasting mimicking diet. If you didn't hear my podcasts last week, you can go back and have a listen to them. They are uh, podcasts 340 all the way through to podcast 344. And you'll hear a little daily update every day. They're only about five minutes long. And I mean, I've got to be honest, it, I am impressed. Um, because I really do feel like I've got more energy having done it. And the thought of eating as much as I was before, just, I mean, I was eating colossal meals. I don't think I need to eat that much. The thing is, I don't really need to lose weight either. And I probably have lost a little bit of weight over the last week. That might appeal to some people, but it doesn't appeal to me. But generally speaking, I do have more energy. And that is the purpose of this podcast. So that is great. You know, I mean, that's the whole point of the fasting mimicking diet. You know, you clear out the dead cells, you get a bit of autophagy going and you start to rediscover that vitality that um, that is inside you from ketosis and from just not eating so much. And your body thinks you're fully fasting, but actually you are having a bit of food. Sure, it might be a few kale crackers and eight olives in an individual portion but the fact that they make it so easy on prolon means that it has been quite good fun as well and there's no real temptation to cheat because you just know straight away if you're getting something out of the fridge that is not in one of the little boxes that you've got for the day you know you're cheating so there's no option to do that that said it's nice to be eating again right on to today's uh, topic which is detox and specifically toxaprevent and uh, this is a, a supplement that I came that I before you sort of judge this podcast I really want you to listen to the first 10 minutes because it may just blow your mind there's some really interesting research around toxaprevent and regardless of the research my experience of it is that it it's as close to a game-changing supplement that I've taken. And this podcast might just blow your mind. This little supplement, Toxoprevent, has gone through so much research. And I don't want this podcast to be an advert, but I am speaking to uh, Dilkaran Kula from the company, and he's explaining about the research that he's got. And he also tells me on this podcast about his own medical condition, skin condition, which is it's just incredible what Toxoprevent has done for him. But I have to say for me as well, it's not just like that. It's not snake oil. I am noticing the same thing. Now, um, this is what Toxoprevent does. Targets the, oh, hang on. Ah, oh, this is, do you know what? I'm going to do this while I'm recording this podcast. You buy, you buy a bit of kit from Apple that costs a grand and then the fan kicks in halfway through and you have to switch it off manually. I mean, come on, guys, make a... Make a computer where the fan isn't noisy. There's a, I think there's a lot of people recording stuff on computers these days. If anyone else has got that same problem, then there's a, a brilliant hack. You just download a bit of software called Turbo Boost, and it can disable it. It's good, isn't it? So that should switch off now. Anyway, exciting interlude for the podcast. So Toxoprevent targets the lower digestive tract. It strengthens the intestinal barrier and intestinal permeability. It looks at histamine intolerance and food intolerances. 
It regenerates the mucus in your intestine. It removes heavy metals and removes environmental pollutants and irritants. I found a huge benefit to taking this supplement. The tests they've carried out on histamine intolerance, you'll hear about it, it's pretty astonishing. Many of my symptoms start in the gut and I'm loving it. You'll also hear, I recorded this last week while I was doing the Prolon, and you'll hear how it helped me through Prolon. If you are interested in uh, getting Toxin Prevent, click on the link in the show notes and you will get 5% off by using the code histamine5. But you'll also, if you click on that link, you will get a lifetime discount. So you get 5% off every time you do it. And that is an affiliate link. So um, yeah, use the code histamine5 to get 5% discount on Toxin Prevent and they ship anywhere in the world. But um, as I say, it's been a bit of a game changer for me. And it is focused towards histamine intolerance, but anyone with general detox issues or who, or if you're going out for a big night, for example, a dilly on this podcast talks about how he uses it for a hangover cure. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's good. It's really good. Here he is then, uh, Dilkrang uh, Kula uh, on Zestology. Right, Dilly, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you, Tony. How about yourself? Yeah, very good, thanks. Now, I, I just want to set the scene because um, because for people who are listening rather than watching, uh, you're in the office, you've got a colleague behind you, so we might hear the odd phone ring and a yes, call going on, but that's all right. That's It's like it's an action scene. Dilly, I'm a huge fan of Toxoprevent, and obviously I am particularly drawn to it for histamine intolerance, but just give me and everyone listening a brief overview and whether anyone would be interested in it who isn't necessarily histamine intolerant, but just looking to sort of optimise their energy, which is what this podcast is all about. So Toxprevent's very interested. You know, there's been, so back in decades and decades of research, the Egyptians actually used to use a lot of zeolites and it's a natural ingredient in terms of its, its, its abundance is available all around the world. And it normally derives from volcanic ash. And so what we what we did is we discovered that it had its had its uh, ability to bind. And what we but what what no one really knew was what it bound to. So we understood that it, it bound to heavy metals, and we understood it bound to things like ammonium and sulfur, for example. But what no one had actually realised that it was that it bound to histamine. So what we did, Proxima and the company, they did the research, and Mr. Gurner he went through all the research and started digging through it, and we actually proved what we could bind to. And we discovered, you no, know, the science has now shown us that things like heavy metals, histamine and ammonium impact the body. And, you know, even though they're naturally in the environment and in different foods, it's when we have too much of it and it accumulates where it can cause a problem. Yeah. So what we did is we basically developed the best, what is essentially the best detox product on the market. Yeah. I mean, do you know what? Like, I think I am a natural skeptic. <laughs> and I would say that a lot of people should be skeptical. They should be skeptical of a claim like that. But honestly, yeah. I haven't used anything better. Because un- until I discovered Toxoprevent, I was using charcoal, activated charcoal, which is good, works yeah. well, but bungs me up a bit, but works well. But Toxoprevent is genuinely better, which is why I wanted to talk to you. Um, is it a frustration to you that you're almost like a, quite a well-kept secret? Uh, I think so we've been we've been at it since 2000 2006 when we came into the market but we in the UK had it for about seven years and it was it was tough and I always get this question they'll go hey Dilly man someone's told me that we've got activated charcoal or they've got uh, the famous one is activated bamboo I think it's called and right. I was just like and then what I'd say to people is do do they have the efficacy and they'll be like what do you mean I'm like well do they have the research that they don't bind to the rest of your nutrients and they'll say no and I go, do they end up living the kidneys? And they'll say they haven't shown that's proof. What we did is we proved that one, we don't interfere with your natural body's vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Secondly, we don't enter the liberal kidneys to be processed or the bloodstream. So we only detoxify via the digestive tract. And in doing so, what we do is we actually allow the body's natural uh, detoxification process to actually do it itself. So we improve the body's natural liver and kidneys. So you know, what we're doing is we're actually giving, it's like what I call it, it's like the garbage disposal unit. It's going in and it's like a sponge and it's absorbing those toxins, pulling them out and then improving the entire body's ability to detoxify naturally. Because obviously we don't want everyone seeing our products for the rest of their life, but what we want to do is give them that kickstart that they need to detoxify properly. So yeah. it is a pain that we're not 
we're not recognized but we are becoming recognized like we, like we found you know you came across us through uh, dr tina pierce kindly enough but it yeah. us. so you know we are starting to get recognized because as i think the, you know, that famous saying the proof is in the pudding yeah and when you try something that's where you actually see the big differences yeah yeah um no i think it is important that people know about it and also like it's not just histamine is it, it is a nice way to detox it does work a little bit like charcoal and from what you're saying because it doesn't absorb nutrients you can use it and say take supplements at the same time yes completely fine so so I suffer from something called urticaria, which you probably you probably probably heard of and know about, and a lot of this many people. And um, it was interesting when I had urticaria seven years ago. I went to my GP and just what remind everybody what urticaria is. So it's a, an an immune reaction in your system, and mm. then what it does is it creates like bumps on the skin, like, like an itchy right. skin. And yeah. what many of them don't remember is that your your skin is your second is well, it's actually the largest organ for detoxification. Mm. So when your body has an overload of histamine, it will come up on the surface of the skin and you get like that itchiness. And I, honestly, Tony, it is, it is, it is soul destroying because I could be, ha- I'd be talking to you mm. and I'd be like itching away and like, you know, scratching, really? like, scratching the skin off. Yeah. It's really, really like, it is, it's, it was that bad. And when mm. I had it seven years ago, it was quite severe. And I actually uh, sadly passed away, but Dr. Lala Lonashik, one of our colleagues, he said, Dilly, take this toxaparent, it'll really help you. And so I started doing the protocol and it was literally two capsules three times a day of the Toxmedi Pure and then one sachet at nighttime before the Toxmedi Plus. I did that and over six months, I just saw my body start to go really weird. I had this like really strange histamine release where for about one or two days I felt a bit unsteady. Mm. And, then, and I thought, what the hell's going on? Like, you know, like I, it's, it's getting a bit worse. But then all of a sudden it just stopped and it just started to get better. And you wouldn't believe that in seven years, I've not had a histamine reaction since. Like an urticaria. So you haven't had an urticaria reaction since? Never. Wow. Wow. That's really, so was that, that was the capsules, not this, because I know to, there is a Toxa Prevent skin powder and a skin cream as well, but you were taking the capsules, were you? Yeah, so the, so the skin products they are they are awesome and they are they are a benefit because they work on the surface of the skin. But what you you know that you know when when you talk to any natural health practitioner or any, even most people, you know they say like your inside your outside is a is a depiction of your inside of your body. Mm. So what I say to people is because your because your skin such a second it's the largest organ of detoxification. If your if your body is toxic inside, it will try to use the skin to detoxify. Mm. So. I always joke with people, I said, do you know, like when you go to eat like, like a restaurant, like especially if like a curry, for example, next day you sweat and you're like, I can, I can smell the, I can smell ah. the spices coming through. That's your body detoxifying those, that, those yeah. spices that go through yeah. the system. And so that's why like the skin products are awesome because they can work on the surface of the skin, but nothing, nothing will be detoxifying internally, improving your GI tract and improving your liver and kidney function. That's the main thing that we try to do. Yeah. And that's really interesting because there's something I wanted to tell you about. And that is that since I've started taking Toxaprevent, and I don't want this to be too much of an advert for Toxaprevent. I'm going to ask you some searching questions soon, Dilly. But since I started taking it, um, I have had hives for many years, probably 25 years. I suppose that's probably quite similar to urticaria, isn't it? And I get, yeah, yeah, and on my hands and my feet and occasionally my face as well. Um, And they come on every summer or when I'm in hot weather. And this is the first summer. That I've not had them, and I and I think it's toxoprevent. I I really do. It probably is, isn't it? So it, it's all down to the immune system and yeah. it's like immune modulation. So you you know with you know when hist with histamine, it's it's given a bad name, but it's not bad. And you know, like I always says, we we Dr. Mark Stanton is one of our one of our you know one of our speakers. He always says to us, he goes, "There's not." such thing as histamine intolerance because you can't be intolerant to what your body naturally produces mm. because our body naturally produces histamine but the histamine tolerance is understandable because we're thinking oh um, am i intolerant to the histamine and it's like no what we're in what we are what we have is an overload of histamine yeah so during the summer months when you're exposed to pollen and allergies what will happen is so um uh, do, do, do you, you've heard of ige right What's yes, involved in the yes. system. So you have like the to like, like, a, like we what we see is like a small circle with antennas, like like a little alien, right. and that will sit in all different parts of the body. And what will happen is when a pollutant and allergen comes in, i.e. pollen, for example, when the immune system is overreactive, what it will do is the 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 toxin will attach itself to the uh, IgE, yeah. and these IgEs attach to this mast cells, 
And what will happen, these antennas pick it up and they'll go, oh no, there's something going on. And especially when the immune system is overreactive, it will build those, you know, those cells against it. The mast cell then bursts. It releases all the histamine and the cytokines and leukocytes into the system. And then that's actually what increased, it creates our like histamine response. So that's where we actually get it from. And so what, what you have to do is, it's all about modulating the immune system. Mm. So reducing that histamine load and allowing the body's own natural uh, organisms to start removing the system naturally. So you have diamine oxidase and HNMT. Diamine oxidase stays in the digestive tract and HNMT sits in the surface of the skin. And when it's over, over histamine, we say, or histamine overload in the system, that's where it causes an issue. And that's where you will start to face all those symptoms that you were talking about. Wow. Yeah. That's so interesting, isn't it? Interrupting this podcast for one moment to remind you that it is brought to you by my podcast partner, Inside Tracker. I'm so excited to work with Inside Tracker because I've been a tracking geek for a long time. And when you do what you love, like running and racing, like enjoying the great outdoors, it's it's nice to do it for longer. You want to do it for life. And Inside Tracker can help with that. Inside Tracker was founded in 2009. <clears throat> excuse me, by leading scientists in ageing, genetics and biometrics. And they have a patented algorithm. So what they do is they analyse your body's data and you can do testing at home, which is brilliant. I've done it. It's very easy. Easiest blood test I've ever done at home. And then it provides you with a clear picture of what's going on inside you. Then you can upload data from DNA. You can upload your own tracking. You can upload your uh, wearable data as well. And then you get science-backed recommendations for positive diet and lifestyle changes. I think this is what we've been waiting for in the biohacking world, in the health world. Inside Tracker tracks your progress every day, every step of the way, and then you reach your performance goals and you live a longer, healthier life. That is the idea. And that's what I want with this podcast as well. And for a limited time, very limited time, you can get 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. So you can go to insidetracker.com slash Zestology. If you're 25% off, you'll get it at that address, insidetracker.com slash Zestology. Also, please do let me know what you think, because I would love to uh, hear your success stories, how you found that it's helped, what you've learned from your tracking. I've definitely made a serious change as a result of the inside tracking recommendations. So um, I'd be interested to know what you can learn from it as well. Insidetracker.com slash Zestology. Just on the skin thing, you know, one of the things I've really thought about a lot recently is the fact that I've got a sort of couple of slightly redder patches on my face. Mm. And I think, and I'm not really quite sure why they're there, but I'm sure that it might be histamine related. So I'm interested to try your skin powder and, and mix that in with one of my own moisturizers or something, or the skin cream, and see if that works. I, I think it'll be a, be a benefit, but anything, yeah. anything, Tony, what it could be is your body's, your as your kind of like histamine loads detoxifying and reducing down, it could be that you're, and I remember you saying you're doing, doing, a, doing a bit of a diet at the moment now. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing the prolon, yeah. Yeah, so it could be that as your body's, like, because because uh, you know the things like the fat cells and the muscles and the tissues, they store those toxins, and that's the the. I mean, the body is awesome. You know, yeah. for for protection, the body is incredible. So it could be that as your well, it would be actually that you're as you start to diet, lose weight, detoxify, those cells are opening up, and your body is trying to remove that. And so what will happen is you'll start to see that it may get a little bit worse, but it's going to get better. Right. Yeah. 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 You mentioned I'm doing prolon at the moment. And um, there'll be po- I'm just sort of recording little mini podcasts every day about it as well. But we're doing his and hers, husband and wife prologue <laughs> in this house. Um, and uh, my son is the only one not doing it. Um, and um, yeah, I'm quite grateful actually that I had the toxin prevent because. The thing about Prolon is, for people who don't know, it's a fasting mimicking diet uh, designed by Walter Lungo, the doctor who sort of invented this longevity diet. And then he collaborated with this company to make this beautiful five day. It's like unboxing a MacBook when you get it through the post. It's great. Um, And you've got a little box with all your meals for every day. And they're a bit like posh cuppa soups, but they're quite nice. And you get a nut bar in the morning and that, and then some crackers and that sort of thing. Um, But when you look at the ingredients, some of them are quite high histamine. 
Um, you know, I mean, tomato soup, for example. I don't have tomatoes normally, but I haven't got any choice this week because I'm doing Prolon. So I was very grateful to have Toxaprevent last night and I took it before bed. My tummy felt a bit bubbly and I feel like that really sort of sorted me out. But I think the interesting thing is that I, I'm interested to talk to you about dosage because I really just take it ad hoc. I don't really have a plan for it. And I only take one at a time. Sometimes I'll only take one every four or five days. Mm. Would you recommend, because then I was having a look on your site before this interview and it actually, the dosage is, is it two, a couple of times a day? So, yeah, so we have like our a general detox, which is simply like two capsules three times per day and then one sachet at night time before bed, which is like a general detox. And to be honest with you, Tony, person, I do something similar to that. I yeah, take yeah. four capsules in the morning and I go four I, capsules in the morning. Yeah, because I, wow. I don't have I have my breakfast around about 12 o'clock. Yeah. And then so I'll have oh, an intermittent I, faster like me. <laughs> uh, yeah. So intermittent yeah. fasting for me is quite, quite cool. But yeah. I have that like early in the morning. And then I, I, what I try and do is have it as far away from food as possible. Because what I want to do is I want to, I want the toxin to bind the toxins in my system mm. rather than the food. Because what many people don't realize is like the, the histamine foods you were talking about. Though they have things like prolon have their histamine, their, their foods are rich with histamine, and we should, you know, sometimes in some cases eliminate it from a diet. It's sometimes beneficial just to remove the histamine in the gut, and then when you have those products or food, food, sorry, your body can deal with them much more effectively. Because, yeah. you know, you know, like I think I think the the joke is if red wine cheese and bread were, were a problem the italians and the french would probably be dead by now uh, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah so they just need toxin prevent <laughs> actually we actually have a funny baker in italy who said to us do you mind if i pull the toxin into the bread and bake it into the bread so they don't get the histamine reaction that's hilarious <laughs> there's a lot of them um, there's a lot of histamine free and low histamine companies based in italy i don't know if you knew that Oh, no, but, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, there's uh, companies that sell histamine-free pasta sauces, and I think there's a low histamine wine company based there as well. And uh, yeah, just a few things going on. But um, so that's very interesting. So you have four in the morning. Um, would that also work if you took it last thing at night? Yeah. So I take so sorry. I take four in the morning, and I take yeah. sorry. I went on a tangent then, as always. Yeah. Tony. You know yeah. how our minds work. We just end up throwing loads. Yeah. Of exactly. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It took, um, I take four in the morning and then I have four at night time and right. we'll get to bed. So what I do is I, and then I have that for like a whole cycle of detoxification kind of happening during the night, because what would happen is well, the reason why we suggest like the tox Brent Medi plus sachets at nighttime before bed mm. is because your, your liver and kidneys are active between one and five in the morning. And so because they're active between those times, that's when they detoxify. And so that, as that process detoxifies, they stick the food into the digestive tract and into the kidneys to be passed out by urine. So when you wake up in the morning, you pass your urine, your detoxification process, and then some people pass stool first in the morning. That is like the basis of detoxification because your, your body is, like I said, your body is in homeostasis and it will constantly try to recycle things out of the system via the stool and urine. Right. Okay. What about, um, I mean, it's, I went away with five of my mates a couple of months ago and we went down to Devon for three days and, you know, after lot, we planned it in the middle of the deepest, darkest lockdown where we weren't <laughs> allowed to do anything and it just felt like such a luxury. Um, we had three nights away, which was just brilliant. Mm. And it was a bit like, I don't know if you've ever seen the program, the trip with, with Steve Coogan and Rob Ryder, but they basically go to loads mm. of nice restaurants okay, yeah. <laughs> and, um, we were, I mean, they weren't particularly posh, the restaurant, but we ate a lot and um, had a few drinks as well and I was taking the Toxaprevent before meals and actually I felt fine after three days away you know yeah I mean like because I was really eating a lot of rich food kind of food that I wouldn't normally eat and eating a lot later than normal I mean is that something that people do with Toxaprevent? Yeah, I mean, I had one of my favourite stories. The lady came came to Italy and she said to me, she goes, Dilly, I have not drank red wine in 20 years and now I can drink red wine. And I think, wow. because, because this, this ideology that we must cut out food groups, back in the day, that was a good concept. You know, the idea of doing FODMAP diets. So I do, you know, I do understand them and I do agree. But the problem is when you take those food groups out, like, for example, like, you know, with ketogenic diets, you yeah, take yeah. the fiber out of the diet. If you talk to any nutritionist, they'll say to you, okay, you're going for ketogenic. 
great diet no problem yeah. at all but when you remove the, that fibrous foods like like your carbohydrates mm. you end up cutting out so much fiber the person gets a bit more constipated yeah and yeah. so it's so difficult managing this and then when you take those take the histamine foods out your your diet gets so limited and i mm. feel i feel for those people and like you know honestly tony we get so many calls like we have a practitioner team in house for for new health care and Honestly, they, they, you, you, there's some of the stories you hear. They're like, uh, you know, I've not been able to eat this for God knows how many years. Yeah. Please, please help me. Like, I love this food. And now, or I've been eating this food for so long, I've now become intolerant to it. What do I do? And it, it, it just shows you that as you've had the experience with, with, with drinking with drinking alcohol and those foods, toxic by removing those histamine excess amounts of it, by modulating the immune system, you've actually given the body the chance to then start introducing foods back in and start continuing your life. Because imagine spending the rest of your life just limiting everything. Yeah. So she so she started drinking red wine again. Yeah, she goes, she just felt she just felt completely fine. Honestly, she goes, normally she would like get um really red, like bright red yeah. skin. She would just feel like her stomach wouldn't feel right and she'd get like a really bad headache. Completely fine. Literally completely fine. I'm very skeptical that it, I would be completely fine with it, but I'll try it. Because <laughs> I, I find red wine probably the biggest trigger. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just, yeah. I mean, it's t- taken me a long time to work that out. There's been a, many a glass of red wine consumed over the years, but other other <laughs> alcohols seem to work better for me. But would she take it at the same time as drinking red wine or just before? So she actually did a she actually did a protocol, and what she did was she actually took it for a while before. So yeah. she did a good like I think it's about three detox, and then she then then she went to Italy, and she then said, "I want to try red wine. Look, I'm in Italy. I'm enjoying the sunshine, and obviously a glass of red wine in Italy, you know, it's, yeah. it's a hard thing to miss uh-huh. out on." Yeah. And so she did that, and that was the feedback we got from her. And generally, I've never seen someone who actually felt so elevated so it's not it's not the first and it's not the last story we've heard so far in in the company so was that sorry was that was she having it just before drinking the wine or like half an hour before do you you know exactly when she was taking it she was just doing a general protocol i think she was doing the two capsules three times a day okay so she wasn't doing it so she wasn't doing it she wasn't saying right i'm gonna have a glass of wine at four o'clock therefore i'm gonna take it at 3 30 uh, you can do that though. I yeah. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no to that. When I go out, when I go out and have a drink or so, yeah, I will yeah. have a sachet of toxic prevent before before I go drinking. Ah. It's actually my hangover cure. Oh goodness! So so you'd have a sachet rather than the tablets, would you? Because it sits in the, it sits in the stomach, and then it takes a while to as it, it kind of it binds to things like ammonium. Yeah. So and yeah. ammonium is quite interesting because that's what actually impacts the kidneys. Mm. So when you detoxify ammonium, you have to convert to urea to like pass out via urine. Yeah. And so when you increase the ammonium content, it has a has a detriment effect on how we have hangovers, for example. Yeah. So it kind of decreases that acidity. So even things like carbohydrates. So I don't know if you've ever noticed this. Do you ever get acid, Tony? Acid reflux. Uh, very occasionally, but only really when I take one supplement. Uh, okay. So not really, not really. So it's like quite interesting when you when you hire. So histamine is actually involved in acid production, right. and it's actually body. The body needs that histamine to actually create acidity in the stomach to allow us to digest food. But when we have increased amounts of histamine, that's when we start to have like excess amounts of acid, and um, it's very interesting. So we 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 were actually the only we. With our toxin ready plus sachets, we can completely remove acid reflux from the person's body just through the binding of ammonium and histamine. No way. It's 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 one it's, it's one of the reasons why we came into that's why we became a medical device because in 2004 we had to we we showed that we could actually completely um like you know reverse reverse the acid reflux with the binding of ammonium and histamine. So what we had to do was they said to us because of this product you need to show it. So we had to then get it made into a medical device from a food supplement mm. and that's why it became it became that. Right. So actually this week while I'm doing prolon I'm doing that until well I'm on day 3 now and it's a 5 day program. Um, I could actually, I mean, at the moment, as I say, I take them very ad hoc, but I could perhaps up the dose a little bit and do maybe, maybe I won't do four in the evening, four in the morning. Cause I've not, I've, I don't have that many normally, but I could do a couple in the evening, a couple in the morning, like you and see what happens. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. I mean, there's, there's, um, because it, it only stays in, cause once it goes, once you take it in, like it's in the capsule form of a sachet once it's bound to the histamine it won't go into the liberal kidneys to be processed or into like anywhere in the body we've proven that why it's that's why it's a medical device it will simply bind and then when you pass your natural bowel movement it will just pass out with the toxins 
Yeah. And does it constipate you? It, it can with some people. And the only reason why it's not because the, it's not because the tox print, because it's like a dry powder. It would only be because if you don't drink enough water or eat enough fibrous foods and vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I think I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, doing a new order, I think, and getting some, uh, getting some skin powder and some sachets for a hangover cure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's interesting. It's like our understanding of like the microbiome is changing so like so much now, like yeah. you know, how as we kind of develop into it. And I know I'm mentioning a bit of a tangent here, but it's, it's interesting. We were looking, so we've been looking at the, like you know probiotic area and gut testing yeah. so i know you probably i know you've probably gone into this area before yourself and i think you mentioned about gut testing mm. it's interesting that we're now learning the different enzymes that people and the different probiotics people are missing so what we started to discover is that people are missing certain probiotics and certain enzymes which actually are involved in supporting diamond oxidase and when those probiotics are actually missing we can actually we've now been out we now have the technology to identify what they're missing and actually populate those correct probiotics to actually help the body's natural mm. ability to break down those histamines and even break down things like lactose and lactase yeah i need to do that with you guys that sounds that is really impressive yeah i yeah, mean yeah. we're working on it it's like i think i think our understanding of the the gi tract is now just absolutely incredible and the body the body is a very unique 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 thing that we have mm. and i think it it's just it just takes time doesn't it yeah yeah definitely yeah well um dilly look there's one two questions i ask everyone i haven't pre-warned you on this but i'm, I'm sure you'll be all right on it um what is <laughs> one tip you would give for more energy and what is one book that you would recommend it can be related to health or it can be anything you like it can be a bit of fiction or something you're reading at the moment so uh one book and one tip for more energy so my tip for probably for more energy would be the the fasting i would yeah. definitely would recommend that i think eating eating earlier from having yeah. your dinner in the evening and drinking plenty of like i always say to people to everyone drink plenty of water yeah. there's so many people i just don't see the videos if you can if you can have your evening meal nice and early and yeah. have a yeah. good gap between going to sleep you will feel a lot more better for it yeah. um the book that i'm reading now at the moment which i absolutely love is um the school of life Oh yeah, it's Ali Baton. Oh my God, uh, right. he, his 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 work is so impressive. Yeah, and just on the understanding of life and how life works, I would highly recommend him to anyone. And if you get a chance to go on YouTube and watch some of his videos, just talking about how we kind of like hold the pressures of life. And it, do you know, funny enough, being stressed is involved with histamine. So when you're stressed, your body releases histamine. So reading something about how to like understand your life a bit better, I would really recommend. And he really summarizes how to kind of get over life's problems. Yeah, I think, do you know what? Actually, that's really interesting you mentioned that because it's a different sort. It's a, it's a whole podcast on its own. But I think stress is probably the biggest histamine releaser for me, almost more than any food. 100%. 100%. We live a stressful lifestyle. Yeah. And, you know, like now we've got products coming out for de-stressing. I don't know if you've ever heard of, um, is it like the sensory deprivation tanks? Yeah, the float tanks. Yeah, yeah. Like like those, and, you know, I don't know if you've have you experienced one. I have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's, it's very enjoyable, isn't it? Have you done it? Yeah, I, I'm a, I'm actually a regular at one of the one of the places near us because oh, yes, yeah. because you when you you don't realise this, but you know you've got your mobile phone, you've got your laptop, you've got yeah. your TV, you've got you know everything is just a, a device of some sorts. Yeah, and being able to shut off for like an hour or so in mm. your own own zone, no no lights, nothing, it is an amazing experience. And you know, for lowering histamine and stress, perfect. Would wow, highly recommend it yeah yeah no i do i love that it's not necessarily a go-to for me um i I don't know why i suppose it's i suppose it's all the faff of getting changed (laughs) but um but i do like it um i mean i love cryotherapy as well and ice baths although i don't do that very much i talk about it more than i do it but um but that is all excellent thank you thank you very much dilly it's been it's been really good to talk to you um We've got, I've got an affiliate code with a discount um, for Toxaprevent, which I'm going to put in the show notes and on the website as well. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, what is the, what is the, is, is it Zestology? No, it's Histamine 5. Histamine 5. There you go. That is the discount code. Oh, thanks for reminding me on that one. Yeah, that's, that's the important one. So if you go to uh, the website and just remind people what the website is. 
So if you go to www.nh, so November Hotel, then innovations.com, that's our website. Um, you can give us a call. Uh, I, myself, Dilly, I'm always available. So you can give me a call and speak to me about anything. And we also have practitioners in the team who answer the calls as well. So if you have any, want any like further advice or more information, please just feel free to get contact our team. We're one of those companies where you can call us at any time and we will give you a full answer. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I called that's you up, did, didn't yeah. I? And we, yeah. we started chatting. We had like a half hour chat out of nowhere. And then here we are. So, um, so yeah, so the, so the discount code is histamine five and I know you ship everywhere and, um, I'm going to be doing another, I'm going to be using my own discount code <laughs> for, for another order now. Go for it. So, cause you've got toothpaste as well, which I want to try too. Oh, the toothpaste is a game changer. Is it? Is oh, it? It, it is. It is. It is. Uh, so we, we spent about, about three years researching toothpaste. Yeah. So, you know, these activated charcoal toothpaste that yeah. they brought out. The oh, I use, I use one now. Okay, so yeah. what no one talks about is something called relative dentine abrasion. Right. And what that is called the RDA scale. So if you go to any dentist, they'll talk about it. And what it is, is basically when you when you use a toothpaste against a tooth or, or a brush, it yeah, rubs yeah. the enamel off. And so if you, it starts at zero and it ends at 250. So your arm and hammer toothpastes, which like, you know, the bicarbonate soda is a really strong yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's at about 230. Right. With Sensodyne is at about 70 for like, you know, rubbing the enamel off. We're at 50. So right. we're lower than Sensodyne. And what we did is we put the particles of Toxaparen, the MANC particles, in, into the Denturama toothpaste. And what it does, it actually binds to sulfur-based compounds and histamine and ammonium in the mouth, reduces inflammation, because many forget your first port of uh, nutrients being absorbed is actually in the mouth, the oral microbiome, mm-hmm. because your enzymes break the food down as you chew, and that's what gets absorbed in the system. So the toothpaste... Is a, is a real game changer because wow. it's a binding toothpaste. It's not leaving a, a mentally fresh breath. It's binding to what causes the bad breath in the first instance. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I'll let you know. <laughs> um, thanks for coming on, though. I really appreciate yeah. it. You've got so much knowledge in, in this whole area, and it's just brilliant to talk. And obviously, I'll use little excerpts for the Histamine Intolerance podcast as well. And I uh, hope to catch up with you. If you're ever in London, let us know. Definitely. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. I appreciate it very much. That's it for this week's podcast. A quick thank you to my podcast partner, Inside Tracker. And I'm really enjoying using Inside Tracker to track some of the changes that have been going on over the last week or two with Prolon and with Toxoprevent and going on their site and tracking it. There's loads of different ways you can use their tracking tools. You can get testing sent to your home, but the stuff on the site and the app is great as well. If you want to optimize and you want to biohack, this is a really good one for you. And I know a lot of my mates in the biohacking community are using this at the moment. It's an ultra personalized performance system. And bearing in mind that I've learned so much about my body over the last couple of weeks with the Prolon and everything else, it's very useful. And it analyzes your blood and your DNA and your lifestyle and your fitness tracker as well. So you can go to insidetracker.com slash Zestology and you'll get a big discount, 25% off. You'll see a cheesy picture of me as well. Uh, go to insidetracker.com slash Zestology. Very proud to be partnering with them. Very cool podcast partner for me because I only want to partner up with people who actually sort of, well, share my values, but also do stuff that I like, which is a nice place to be insidetracker.com slash Zestology 25% off you'll get and let me know your tracking insights that is it for Zestology see you next week